Hi there folks, I just wanted to share with you what I've been working on recently. Uh, it can be, I can sometimes seem to be quite quiet, but there's always something going on. Uh, and this is really exciting. I've been in wanting to share this for a while, but uh, I wanted to have something to show first. Uh, so basically I've been doing a collaboration working with an AI company called Motorica on animation uh, for motion matching. So. Motorica makes animations, uh, AI generated animations. Basically you can specify what you want. Uh, you, you can maybe say the character's a bit drunk or they're hopping on one leg or they're not, maybe they're holding a gun. I don't know, whatever it is. You can sort of give it a AI description as you kind of do with, with image generation and then it generates an animation. And what I've been working with them is they've developed uh, a way with where you have a dance card where they, they basically draw the path. They can set the speed of the character how long it takes to start and stop uh, and all these parameters and then it generates it perfectly matching that dance card which is really good for motion matching. So you're probably wondering when's he going to move the character? I'll show you now and then I will show you the dance cards and, and the actual animations and how just damn good they are. Um, so here's the character and I will say that this is probably some of the best animations no, no, these are actually the best animations I've ever used with Motion Symphony. Um, they are AI generated, they required zero cleanup, they required zero actors uh, for, for motion capture, they required zero hiring of studios. Uh, they were generated by Motorica. Um, this software that they're working on is, uh, is not released yet in, in terms of like the, the stuff that you're seeing now. Um, but I have seen how they've generated it and it, it looks quick and it looks to be pretty damn amazing when it's finished. Uh, to be able to generate these animations on a whim and the turnaround is really quick, uh, you know. Um, once they've got all of these dance cards set up, you'll literally be able to just say how you want your character to move. Uh, you, you specify how fast all this stuff, how fast it stops, starts, does plants, and then it just generates the dance cards from their preset and then generates the animations um, that's kind of incredible and it has the potential to open up motion matching like it's never been opened before um, and it's kind of a match made in heaven between motion matching motion symphony uh, uh, and uh, and AI generated animation because motion symphony has always been um, or motion matching is always been this cool thing where you can throw in animations and you get this character that does all these complex movements um, with relatively less work than uh, a full animation set. Uh, however, the big problem has always been having the animations in the first place. Obviously, you want mocap and mocap is expensive. You need good actors. It needs to be cleaned up. This kind of just eliminates that. And this is why I say, titled the, the video, the animate button is real. I don't know if you know about the animate button. It's been a long running joke with animators. It's like, why can't we just have an animate button where you press the button and it creates the animation? And the funny thing is it's not even a joke anymore. This is kind of becoming a reality. I'll show you more. I've just been showing running. Of course, we've got walking as well, all with the same dance cards uh, and you know, things like acceleration, deceleration, it's all there. It's very exciting. So the, the collaboration I've been doing with Motorica is I've been uh, taking their animations, putting them in out in Motion Symphony, testing them out and then giving feedback saying uh, what kind of animations we need to make this better, to make this a kind of a perfect set of motion capture animations. And I'm pretty happy with where we are with the normal running. And we're currently working on strafing and I'll show you a bit of the strafing, but it's not quite there yet. Uh, it's mostly just because we, we need some more animations, which I'm excited to show you very soon. They will be there. So here's the strafing. Uh, this is a particular type of strafing where the body faces forward. I actually, I personally think this is best for most games um, for gameplay, but there's no reason why the, the hip twisting kind of movement can't be done as well uh, since they're, AI models are all trained off of uh, of mocap and other uh, animations, even keyframed animations. So this is the strafing, pretty good. Um, as I said, there's a few things missing that we're gonna that we're working on to get added. Like we don't have 180 direction changes, that's why it's kind of janky to stop. But there's also some interesting things like uh, we added in. So there's like snakes. Uh, I think we've only got 
yeah, so there's like snake diagonals and stuff. So stuff that you just never think of adding uh, that kind of exists. We've also got, so hang on, we've got sideways snakes. Uh, so like, so we can sort of change the camera angle while we're going and snake like that. Um, we don't have the spirals facing in and outwards yet, but you can sort of see that it, it tries to link together the snakes to, to do it. When we add the spirals, changing the camera angle should make this much better. So I'm really excited to see that. And also things like transitioning from uh, strafing to running in a direction. We don't have that yet, but that's going to be added soon. You can see right now, a lot of the time when it does that, it, it tries to do a... Yeah, it does sort of that kind of stuff. Things like um, we're running, we're, we're strafing, say, this way, and then we suddenly change the camera direction. And then, it, you know, we wanted to do like a, a quick pivot instead of this big turn that it does. So all of these things are coming. However, all of the animations that I have got for strafing are working really well. And that's like these, these, uh, these like 90 degree strafes, the, the diagonals, um, <clears throat> the, the starts and stops also in all those directions are really good. Uh, even the, the 45 degree stuff. So 45 degree angle changes, they all work really well. And they're really quite snappy, which is nice, which is what you want for games. Um, so I'm really excited to see the results of that. Of course, we've got walk as well. We need to add uh, walking acceleration and deceleration. But yeah, the quality of these animations and the cleanliness is so good that I don't have to do a lot of work in Motion Symphony. Obviously, to get that last few percent of quality, you're still going to do your tagging. But man, it just, it, it's so good even without the tagging that it's really great. And it's mostly due to how clean the root motion is. So I'll, I'll show you that um, root motion there in the motion data. And you'll see what I mean about how clean this is. Uh, so here, here is the, here's a plant set. And I'll just play it. Just how consistent those curves are, how straight the straights are. And if you see one which just starts and stops, you'll know what I mean. They're extremely, where, where is it? We got we even got things like this changing direction constantly, um, spirals like perfect radius spirals, uh, which is impossible to do with mocap without a lot of cleanup. As I said, the snakes. Uh, we've got counter turns, um, all consistent radius, consistent speed, consistent uh, time to do the turn which is all great for games. Uh, you get the idea for the, for the starts and stops, right? For example, just on the point, it's generated perfectly. So this is really exciting. This is really cool. Um, I don't even think you can make motion capture sets this good with, with mocap without a ton of cleanup, right? And this is, this has the potential to be in your hands of literally just one person can do the whole thing, which is nuts. Uh, does loops as well, of course. We've got our loops. Uh, accelerations, decelerations. Uh, these are just shuffles. Um, also the snakes and stuff. So that's, let me see. I right, look, look, at, look how nice. It's just geometrically pleasing <laughs> just to look at. Look at that. Uh, stops snakes this is okay not the snakes i'm looking for curves yeah this is really cool um i never thought of doing this but you do the snake and it tightens the curves tighten as you get closer in that's really cool and of course it doesn't matter how big your studio you don't have to worry about having a, a mocap studio big enough because it's ai generated you can just run off into the distance um so yeah, and we got the same thing with the strafing animations. They actually came up with some really cool dance cards, that, which I never thought about. Uh, I'll show you here. So these squares. So you, this this one handles all the 45, uh, sorry, the 90 degree turns for the strafing. And then they just put it on a diagonal. And then you got all the diagonal 45, uh, 90 degree, sorry, strafing as well. So that's cool. And then all the uh, 45 degrees gets handled with these octagons. And then you get the stars. These handle the one one thirty five. You get that in both. You get them in both directions. 
So these are actually some pretty good dance cards that get get all direction changes. Again, we just need the the back and forth animations. Um, and then of course even like so th so this is snaking on a diagonal, which is kind of cool. Though we'd actually need it in snaking on all diagonals. Um, and then same thing with that, that I mentioned before, wider arcs into uh, steeper arcs. These are kind of movements that I just couldn't do previously. And I've given feedback for a whole bunch of other dance cards for strafing that I'm probably going to get an ad to show and it's going to make this really good. Anyway, I just wanted to show what was going on. Um, I'm very excited about this. Madarik is excited about it. Uh, I think you should all be excited about it too because this really has the potential to change a lot of things. Motion matching has always been this thing where having the right animations is 90% of what makes it work well. Most of your problems come from not having the right animations. And with this, we could do away with cutting corners and, and things like using cut clips uh, as, a, as a workaround and just use AI-generated mocap. So, thank you for watching. Just wanted to show what I'm doing. Uh, I'm hoping to have these animations as the replacement animations for the example projects. If you're watching and you're from Unity uh, with MXM, then it's the same thing. These are all generated as FBX files. So it's not like it's tied to Motion Symphony. So you can get excited about this as well. Uh, so yeah, look forward to it. What, keep watching the space. I will show off more and I will get back to tutorials and stuff, but this has just been uh, the most pertinent thing for me right now. And also I would like to continue tutorials using these animations if possible in the future. Thank you for watching. I will see you another time.